sorry I didn't stream last night. I was installing a game and it took all day and then after I was done my internet was just kaput. Hopefully, it's better tonight. Sorry, my voice cracked. Um, hopefully, it holds up better. Seems to be okay now, maybe? Uh, I was just uh, a bit late. <laughs> I was watching the new season of Mandalorian, of The Mandalorian, because I didn't know it was out and I've been watching it all day. So, that's what I've been up to, and I, I finished, so last night I watched half of it, there's an anime called, what, saving 80,000 gold in another world for retirement or something like that, and uh, it was better than I was expecting. And, uh, yeah. I'm excited for this season. There's lots of, uh, I don't know if there's lots of anime compared to how many anime there is compared to last season. Uh, but s Spring seems pretty stacked. There's the new season of Demon Slayer and, uh, rank Ranking of Kings. And all sorts of stuff, so. But, yeah, I'm excited. But, uh, Mandalorian Season 3 is better than I was expecting. I am enjoying it way more than I did uh, Boba Fett. The first uh, couple episodes of Boba Fett were pretty alright. But I feel like it just kind of fill apart there at the end if that makes any sense you know but I will see if they can stick the landing at the end of the season I, I haven't been paying attention to Star Wars since Boba Fett, I think. So I have no I haven't even seen Andor. My uncle says Andor's pretty good. Hmm. Maybe I'll watch it after I finish season three. I don't know. I'll be 
right back. I need to take care of something. Well, hello, Sword Slayer. I'm doing all right. I was lurking in your stream earlier. I hope you got some good games in. Um, I'm not playing that game tonight. I'm, I don't know if you've heard of it, but I'm doing ASMR. It's like, uh, ASMR is like a relaxing sounds to help people relax or sleep. And then give you like a goosebumps on the back of your neck, that kind of thing. I don't know if I'm good at it, but I like doing it. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to start... Uh, Mass Effect, which I'm excited for. I was going to stream it last night, but it took all day to install. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm excited. I've never, I've only played Mass Effect once. It was the yeah, it was uh, the first game because it was on Game Pass, or when they made it so you get EA Play with your Game Pass subscription. It was like that. I played it for like 20 minutes and I like put it down. So, but I'm excited. I got it on sale on Steam for like 18 bucks. That feels like a uh, Rob, like, pretty good. Yeah. I have some friends that really, really like Mass Effect, so. Yeah, it was like, it's regularly 60 bucks, so. Uh, yeah. It was like more than 50% off. I don't know if the sale's still happening. I think it was till the 31st. But, oh well. I don't know why it was on sale so, like, why it was so cheap. having a April sale. It's still on sale. It ends on the 13th if you're interested in it. But, uh, yeah, it was like 110 gigs. So it took like four hours. I've never played it before, so I want to give it a try. I uh, spent all day watching the new season of The Mandalorian. pretty good. I 
Okay, through the nose. Yeah, I just got... I'm in the middle of... I'm a bit late tonight because I was watching it. Uh, I'm like halfway through the episode when they're trying to get to the... The... the bat wizard thing carries away the kid. So they're climbing up the... The... They're gonna climb up the thing to get him back. That's about where, where I'm at. It's pretty good. How are you, Poodamels? Am I saying that right? I hope I am. Uh, I didn't even know it was out. There's like five episodes out now, <laughs> or something like that. And I, I didn't even know till this morning or this afternoon. Yeah, I think it was the afternoon. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know how many episodes are out. I think I'm on the fifth one. Maybe? Maybe the fourth one. I, I don't know. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to the episode number. Seven? Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. attention to anything Star Wars since uh, Boba Fett was, was releasing and uh, the, I think Boba Fett was alright it wasn't that good though like I think at the bare minimum it was average I think like the first Two or three episodes were uh, better. Yeah, the the finale just felt uh, like a mess. I don't I don't know how to like, describe it. It was it was odd. But oh well, it doesn't really matter, does it? Tomorrow's Mass Effect. I don't know if I'll play. Just, uh, I don't know if I'll stream Mass Effect till I finish the whole collection. Or if I mix it up a bit every once in a while. I don't know. Depending, I guess it depends on how I feel about it. When we, when we start tomorrow. Hi Sauce. How are you? I hope you have a good weekend. Yeah. We'll, we'll see how I feel when we get to it. just finished uh, everything Half-Life. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that's, that's the point. Sauce, thank you for gifting us up. Oh my goodness. I forgot to mute alerts. 
I hope it wasn't too loud. But thank you, Goldie. Or do I call you Himaru? Himaru? You're doing good? I'm good. That's good sauce. Uh, but thank you, Goldie. That was kind of what I was going for. You didn't hear it? Okay. I don't think the alert sounds that loud anyway. I don't actually know how loud it is. Um, yeah. That's what I was going for with my, with my model. The, uh, okay. Because I saw it come up on the stream, but it, my, uh, headset's plugged into my mic so I can hear my desktop. Um, but yeah. Thank you, Goldie, that's kind of what I was going for <laughs> with the hat. Um, these, these stains aren't, it's not blood, it's, it's ketchup. It's old ketchup stains. Because my, I really like those old, uh, teddy bears with the jointed arms and legs and the, the neck so you can like pose them, kind of. Um, but I really like those teddy bears. And, uh, yeah. My, my, I, my whole, like, concept for my model was, uh, Winnie the Pooh, but instead of honey, it's ketchup. So, yeah. It also could just be that the stream is delayed, I don't know. Because my... I don't know if my bitrate's all over the place. It, it feels like it is looking at uh, OBS, but uh, Twitch stream manager seems to be saying it's everything's good. So I don't know. But thank you, Sauce, for gifting a sub to Pays. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. you're doing good. But uh, I'm not English. Well, not now. I, I speak English, but I'm American. <laughs> my, uh, my grandpa is, uh, he's from Northern Ireland. So it is in my blood, but I'm not English, but thank you. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just rambling. Hopefully stream doesn't die. My bitrate seems like it's all over the place tonight. 
I don't know why it's always like this on the weekends. Every time. Uh, welcome home. And it has been one. has been dying. We've we've dropped quite a few frames so far. Okay, sauce. Okay, let me drink some water first. okay all right okay sauce do you want it up close to the mic or you just want me to say it like this it's not gonna be good either way but I just was wondering if you had a preference Close to the mic? Okay. Okay. I don't know why. My voice still cracks. I'm 23. I'm almost 23. I don't, I don't know why it doesn't work. Okay. There you go, Sauce. How was it? It was this one. Mine's not that good. But thank you for the redeem. Perfect. Okay. Bytes per second are all over the place. Sorry about that. It's always like this on Sundays. Because everybody's home. I, I don't know. Twitch says everything's fine. I'm just glad I'm not playing the game. <laughs> having the frames drop all over the place. Sorry about that. My throat made a gross sound. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it.
also have, I was going to, after I finished Half-Life stuff, the Half-Life games, I was going to stream Elden Ring again. But uh, I think we'll start Mass Effect. So maybe Tuesday we'll do Elden Ring. Thank you. Did anyone take first yet? Nobody's claimed first yet. Hi, Chimkin. How are you? I hope you had a good weekend. it last time but I did make a throne wish list there's not much on there but you can suggest things if you want there's like five things but sleep soon I wake up early tomorrow oh so you have to wake up early but I hope you get enough sleep and have some sweet dreams thank you thank you for a stop on back And drink water and brush your teeth. And floss. There you go. Thank you, Thor Slayer. You are first. And a stretch, thank you. is really really noisy Was my oboe popping? It was on my back. There's my elbow. It did feel good. It did.
Sorry, I needed to exit. Thanks. I try my best. Uh, yeah, just a disclaimer, do not listen to this while operating heavy machinery or while driving. Thank you. Tom, it's been a while. Hello. Yeah, I know. But it's for, it's for your own good. And I don't want to get sued. I hope you had a good weekend. Thank you, thank you for stopping by. I appreciate you. Oh, okay. That's what I thought, but um, I think it's still a dark out to be operating a backhoe or anything like that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. And it's like cold out, isn't it? It's uh, 39 degrees out, okay. tonight and then snow it's gonna snow all day tomorrow uh, fun I had to uh, oh my god I'm so sorry I'm so sorry my phone fell over sorry I'm so sorry I'm so sorry um I've had to work in the, but I'm so sorry, Tom. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so sorry. I did not mean to do that. I was checking the weather on my phone and it fell over. I'm sorry. I feel so bad. I'm sorry. Uh, working in the cold, wet mud is not fun. I, uh, I use 
use to install uh, radon mitigation systems like five years ago now not so long ago now I feel so old <laughs> maybe not five years but close um, and sometimes we'd go in and before they laid the concrete for the basement floor or whatever we'd go in and lay pipe for a system for a house that someone's building and uh yeah there was, there was this one job me and a co-worker had to do it was like it was late and it was like raining all day or it was just a wet day there was snow on the ground and uh, this house was huge. What is that emote? Oh, I don't have that love emote. That's, I've never seen that love emote before. Um, but, uh, yeah, so it was. I guess they they knocked a house down and they were building a new one or something. So we had to, yeah, it was miserable. Sorry, someone just dropped something upstairs. I've never seen that emote before. I have the the face palm, the cool, and one of the kiss emotes for the love the love emotes, but or the streamer love emotes, but I've never seen those ones. I don't know if how long ago they released those. Must have been a while ago. Let's see if we can find out. some good ones out there. Oh, there's a whole lot of cool ones that I wish I got. Um, it seems like it was an event that ran from January to February of 2020. And I, maybe they were hype train rewards? Either hype train rewards, or you got them for gifting, or for receiving a gift sub. Yeah, they're they're pretty cute emotes, if I'm being honest. Because there's the emotes you get for participating in the hype train. I have a couple. Not a whole lot. 
but like those ones. You got those for participating in the hype train. So, you only get those once in a while. And you only get one for each uh, hype train. Hello, wife. Hello, Thor Slayer's wife. I do not have a wife. Hello. Of course I do. That's the only time I ever played Apex. Teddy or Chunk. That name's familiar. Hello, hello. I hope you are well. Right. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you. And thank you for the follow. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. It means a lot. Welcome. Welcome. I think we're almost to 150. Yeah, I used to use use my gamer tag, but I quote unquote rebranded. Thank you. Um, here, this is the whole thing. Um, I just put the blanket on when I do this. Um, the stains aren't blood. It's ketchup. Um, I have a few expressions. I have a blush, a blush, and, uh, a grumpy face. I have um, blush with heart eyes. Thank you, Sauce. Um, it was drawn, so um, my model was done by one person. She drew it and rigged it. Yes, I did. Um, she drew it and rigged it. Um, yeah. And she streams every Friday, or tries to. Uh, her internet was not cooperating this Friday, or last, this past Friday. But uh, yeah, she does art too. She drew this. She's great. In the the VTuber world, we call our art art artists our artists, um, our art mamas and our art papas. But I only have one art parent. Thank you. It is cute. I appreciate. It. Thank you. No, I I met them. 
I met them on Twitch. Um, yeah. Like, I don't know how long ago now. Two or three years? Uh, pineapple juice? Oh. Uh, I don't like pineapple. I know it's good for you though. I just don't like the texture. I'm sure the juice is fine. But I, 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 I don't like the texture. Apple juice? Yeah. I love apple juice. My, my younger sister, when she was uh, little, all she drank was apple juice. The dentist had to tell us to tell her to stop because <laughs> her teeth were dissolving or something like that. It's too much sugar. No sauce. I just don't like eating the pineapple. The flavor is fine. I just don't like eating the actual fruit. I don't like the texture. I'm, I'm, I, the texture. If the food tastes good, that's great. But if the texture is bad, I can't eat it. Like, uh, it's mostly with vegetables. Like, uh, Brussels sprouts. Or asparagus or cauliflower. I just, I can't stand how it feels in my mouth. Don't take that out of context, please. <laughs> yeah, I, d I don't like, I don't like the texture of pineapple. <laughs> okay then. Um. I know this, it's sacrilege to some people, but I don't like biscuits. Like, uh, like KFC biscuits or the, the, uh, McMuffin biscuit, the McMuffin sandwich. <laughs> Eat sand as much as you want. It tastes bad. I've eaten sand before. It was not on purpose. is crunchy so uh, when I was in second grade what about fish I've only ever had tuna I, I think I've had sushi once I don't remember if I liked it or not it's been too long I like I like keeping fish yeah I, I've only had tuna fish Yeah, I'm sure it's great. I, I, my parents just don't like it, so we never have it. I like tuna fish, though. They call it the chicken of the sea for a reason. But uh, when I was in second grade, uh, they had... Uh, do I fish? I've been a few times, but I don't regularly. I like to keep fish in a fish tank, uh, but I, I, I've only been fishing a couple times. More than more than a couple times, but at least three that I can remember. It was usually when I was with my uncles, or one of my uncle. Uncle, uncle. <laughs> um, my uncle lived in. I am on Discord. Um, my uncle lived in Wyoming, so we'd go up there, and every once in a while, it's like a four-hour drive from here to there. A whole lot of 
nothing to look at on the way there, but um, we went fishing once. What's my name on there? The same, the same as my Twitch username. No problem. But, uh, I don't know where we were. But my dad get, did catch something. I think it was a rainbow trout. But the, we were on these rocks next to the water. And as he was hurrying to, like, reel it in or catch it or something, he slipped and he got this nice gash up his leg. He had a, I don't know if he still has a scar from it, but. It was gnarly. But, uh, I have eaten sand before. Because, uh, <laughs> uh, when I was in second grade, uh, the elementary I went to, uh, right behind the elementary is a public park. Like a city park. And, um, we were allowed to go to the the uh, the playground for the public park too, because there's no fence between it and the schoolyard, and you can't keep kids away from it. I mean, it was bigger than the one right next to the school anyway. Um, but the one right next to the school had monkey bars, and the f the first bar was welded to the the playground, so it didn't swivel. And the rest of them were on swivels, so they moved. They swung back and forth. And I was never very good at the monkey bars. But uh, for some reason, I was dumb that day at recess. And I wanted to try to do the monkey bars. So I grabbed the first one. Because it's like right there. What are my numbers? What are my numbers? I'm, oh, I can't see them because I'm on streamer mode. Um, is your phone, ha, have you changed your phone number? I still have your phone number. Because I, I can't see, see it right now because I'm in streamer mode on Discord. You have changed it? Okay. Well, I'll, I'll send you a message over Xbox then. After stream. I'll send you the number. I, I just can't look at it right now because I'm on. Because uh, I'm streaming. I will get it to you though. Um, so I grabbed the first bar and it's like right there. Okay, that works. And, uh, the first part doesn't move. So, like, this is great. And I think I get my hand on the second one. Um, but I have no idea what I'm doing. So, uh, I don't know, like, I don't remember exactly how it happened. But I slipped, and I fell right in, so the, the playgrounds at my elementary was sand, instead of like wood mulch or anything like that. So I went right face first into the sand, and for some reason it was kind of wet, and it stuck to my face. And I got into my mouth, that's how I ate sand. Um, but I couldn't open my eyes because I had sand all over my face. Like, I could open my eyes a little bit and, like, look at my feet. I don't know why, I just didn't wipe my face. <laughs> um, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll look at it after this. And, uh... I don't know why I didn't wipe my face. <laughs> right, 
as kids, I was I didn't know what to do. I was like, I know my teacher will help me. So I walk back. I can only like see my feet in the ground right in front of me. Like I can't see like forward because I can't open my eyes because there's sand all over my face. Um, so I walk back to my classroom. I don't know why nobody stopped me. I was just I was just walking. Probably because it was recess and the teachers were like eating or something. I don't know. Um, but I get in there, and my teacher's back is against to back is to the door. She's like printing something. I wrote, Mrs. Davenport, there's sand all over my face. I'm like what? No, there's not. And she turns around, and she goes, "Oh, there is." And then she wipes my face. And I go back outside. That's it. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not my dad says I'm not very good at telling stories, but that's how I ate sand. I face planted <laughs> to the monkey bars. And uh Yeah. was I? I think I was I was at least seven I think I was eight though I'm pretty sure I was eight yeah I didn't want my face I just went to my teacher I like she'll help me I have sand all over my face same year me and a friend would sit under the playground and we just dig in the sand because if you got deep enough you get to the uh, the mud or the the, the clay um, I don't know I think my friend said it was called Indian clay obviously that's not PC but uh, we were, what, eight? In, yeah, we didn't know what we were doing. Um, and, like, I told my mom, and she's like, you, you shouldn't do that, that's cat poop. It's like, what? It's not cat poop, mom, it's dirt. <laughs> it's not, it's not cat poop. Because that cat would have to dig pretty deep there in the sand to get, to get that deep. To where we were digging and getting get reaching the uh, the moist soil, but uh, my mom's like, you, "You don't do that anymore. It's poop." When it didn't smell like poop, it, it was it was wet dirt. But um, she was very concerned that I was playing with cat poop during recess. <laughs> and. Uh, Um, we made a game out of it. I think I I don't know if it was a game, but uh, we dug a, ch a chunk of it out, and it was really squishy. So we put it in a, yeah, it was clay. It didn't stink, and the cat would have had to have gone really deep. If a cat just wanted to poop, it just poop on the surface of the sand, but. Um, it was at least like a foot that we we don't had to dig to get to this stuff, and uh, we played with it. And we're like, let's make a friend. So what we did was we got some rubber bands and a paper towel or like a napkin, 
Because we'd eat before... Pinch me? Thank you. Why am I thanking you for pinching me? I, p I put that on for... Uh, uh, St. Patrick's Day, and I, I still haven't disabled it. I, I pinched myself, thank you. And, uh, we wanted to make, like, a, a friend or a toy out of it. So we got, and, uh, I'm pretty sure we ate lunch before recess, I think. Anyway, uh, we wrapped, so we got some rubber bands and a napkin or a paper towel and we wrapped the clay in the paper towel and then wrapped the rubber band around it the ends of the paper towels to make like a little bag and then we drew a smiley face on it and we, we gave it a name but I cannot for the life of me remember what we named it I can't remember but that's what we did with it with the clay. <laughs> we drew a smiley face on it. That's what we did. And then that friend went to a different elementary after that, after that year. So, yeah. I'll have to ask my cousin, because my cousin was in that class. I doubt she remembers either, but I'm curious now. It was like Mr. Something. If we did give it a name. Sorry, I was drinking some water. Oh, okay. Hopefully the ads didn't go off while I was in the middle of that story. Hopefully not. I apologize if they weren't. Uh, let me know if they were and I'll, uh, I'll tell the story again. No? Okay. Whew. Yeah, so I have to play like three minutes of ads every hour or in an hour, otherwise uh, pre-roll ads are on, and uh, pre-roll ads make uh, Twitch, the Twitch experience kind of miserable, but uh, yeah, they just went off. just went off. Sorry about that. Not here? Okay. I don't know what happened then. Pearl ads are off. That might have been like a banner ad. I don't know. Um don't make a whole lot from ads. A banner ad. Like, uh, it pops up on the bottom of the screen or whatever. Like YouTube. We shall never know. Yeah, I guess so. But yeah, you do not make a whole lot of ads. Or, you don't, you don't make a whole lot of money from ad revenue on Twitch. You do make some. Let's see. 
میرسه I don't know why, but on the 29th, I made more than a dollar from ants. That's weird. Um, but yeah, usually it's like 50 cents. You really only make money from ants if you're like a really big streamer. What happened? If you are willing to share, if it's not uh, too bad. Oh, you were deemed a stretch too, I did not see that, sorry. Okay. Sorry, I did not notice. Tighter chunk, thank you. Your name's both start with a T. I was a dumb kid. At least when I was in elementary. Um, when I was in third grade, that was when Bakugan came out. Uh, Google told me it released in 2007. So. Yeah, it was around that time. Weren't we all? Yeah. Very true. Um, but uh, Bakugan are little plastic marble toys you'd roll. Your gamer tag isn't a offensive, unless they're pagan. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I'm sorry that happened. That's that's dumb. That's dumb. Yeah. It's 
only offensive if you worship Thor. Right? I mean, I'm pretty sure Thor's not even a really good guy anyway. If God of War has taught me anything anyway. Um. Yeah, that's, that sucks. But, uh, Bakugan were little plastic marbles you'd roll, and then it, uh, they had little magnets on the bottom. It was only a go thing. Oh. That's weird. But, uh, anyway. I, I didn't have any Bakugan. A god thing? Yeah. Yeah. Is that's dumb. I don't get how Thor Slayer. Good? Oh, good. Okay. Yeah. Slaying Thor is a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I confused myself, I think. Yu Gi Oh? I, w I wasn't into Yu-Gi-Oh, I think. I know, I know, uh, I remember Thor Slayer playing it during math class. <laughs> I didn't have any. I didn't have any Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I had, I had one. It was from a, a McDonald's Happy Meal. It's a really bad card. I can't, which card was it? like card eater or something like that it was this blue and red worm I can't remember and magic I still play magic I do have Yu-Gi-Oh cards, but I don't have any friends that play it. <laughs> that I uh, am in contact with regularly, anyway. I used to play it all the time with a friend, but... Uh, he, like... I think he cut all contact with me for some reason. Oh yeah, it's a... Uh, it was a 2006 promo card for McDonald's. It's called Zone Eater. Let's see. Well, I, I remember it being awful. Let's see. It's a uh, level, level 1 water monster with uh, aqua effect 250 attack, 200 defense. Yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu-Gi-Oh! is kind of hard to get back into. Um, there is Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. They, it's a free mobile app, I think. You can play it. Play Yu-Gi-Oh! But it's kind of hard to get back into. But the Zone Eater's effect is... A monster attacked by this card will be destroyed during the end phase of the fifth turn after the attack. So... It, uh, it'll destroy a monster, but it takes five turns to do it. It's really bad. Well, I, I mean, maybe, but there are cards that do that way better. And you can get it for like 30 cents. <laughs> I don't have it anymore. I gave it to a friend. Because like, I don't play this game. You can have it. It's like, thanks, this sucks. Yeah, and faster, for sure. Like, uh, Ikibayo Dragmore is a spell that uh, enchants... I don't know if it's... I, th I think you, you, you equip it 
you target an opposing monster and the opposing monster can't attack or uh, or anything for like two turns and then after those two turns of the monster dies and EQ Bio Drachmord goes back to your hand so you can keep casting it unless uh, the monster gets tributed or uh, it just dies before uh, Drachmord yeah, defend before Drakmorn finishes its effect, so it's not a bad card, but it's it's an old one. <laughs> yeah, when I was in third grade, I really wanted a Bakugan, and uh, there at the time there were these chairs, or not chairs, there were these t foldable tables that they set up in the um, in the hallway. That was the lost and found stuff, because lots of kids would leave their coats and stuff. Forget their coats. And just, uh... Leave them in the classroom, so they'd put them on these tables. And I remember... I was walking to... A cafeteria or something, with some friends. We were lined up, and we were all walking to get to, to go to lunch. And there was a Bakugan sitting on the table. And one of my friends just took it, and I was like, why'd you do that? That's not yours. And he said, it's a rule of Bakugan that if you find one, you can keep it. It's like, oh, okay. That makes sense to me. <laughs> but obviously, that's not true. But uh, I didn't know how the game worked. I just thought they were cool. So. Yeah. I didn't know how to play Yu-Gi-Oh till high school. That's when I got into it. But uh, it's hard to keep up with. Magic is just kind of easier to understand. S somewhat. It's still kind of complicated these days, but it's, it's easier to play. Just sit down and play it. I don't know, it depends on who you're playing with, I suppose. But yeah, it definitely feels easier to teach someone how to play magic. And, uh, my dad doesn't want to play, doesn't like to play card games because to him it feels like the rules change every, every time a card every turn or whatever like you're just making up the rules and like watching a game of Yu-Gi-Oh it definitely feels like it because so much happens during a game of Yu-Gi-Oh these days so I totally get where he's coming from because like Yu-Gi-Oh just watching a duel is kind of hard to follow But, uh, yeah. Like, I have a deck, but uh, I haven't played Yu Gi Oh in probably two years. Probably more. <laughs> I tried to play with my brother a couple of months ago, but it, it didn't go well.
Do you still play Destiny Source Slayer? Just curious. I totally get that. I uh, got it for PC because the new expansion released a, a while ago. And my brother really wanted to play it with me. So I told him uh, I'll buy it and the DLC and stuff because when an expansion comes out, everything else goes on sale, at least on Steam. And, uh, I'll play it if you buy the new DLC for me. So, so he's like, sure. So I bought everything at a discount, and then he got me the other DLC. The new DLC. Uh, I streamed it a while ago. But, uh, yeah. I still have to play through the new campaign. We can do that later. Maybe, maybe tomorrow we'll play Mass Effect, Tuesday we'll play Elden Ring, and Wednesday we'll play Destiny 2. Maybe we'll try that. Unless I just end up wanting to play Mass Effect all week. Uh, give me a second, drink some. Oh yeah, of course. Totally. Destiny 2 just takes up a whole lot of time, you know. If you want to get all the good guns and stuff, you gotta, you gotta grind those nightfalls. I think it'd be okay. I think that's fine if Destiny 2 is the only game you play. But like, there's too many games these days that uh, want to take up all your time. You can only really play one of them regularly. You can dab on a couple. But uh, there's just too many. Too many uh, uh, quote unquote life service games. They're like, hey, play me. Play me finish the battle pass I mean, all right okay fine and then you play nothing but that game and like, i'm gonna take a break and then they release the battle pass with the new skins you're like oh this skin's really cool so you buy the battle pass and then you play it yeah there's like uh there's like three hour videos on youtube explaining the story if you want to watch it but uh yeah I don't know uh, what the last expansion you played was, but I don't think, well, a lot, a lot has happened, but most of the story happens during the seasons. Like, there'll be a campaign when the, when the new uh, expansion releases, but they do most of the story stuff during the season with season quests and stuff that you've got to play, so, yeah, you've got to be keeping up with it to, uh, to understand what's happening, yeah, I think, 
last time I played with played it with you, I think it was Shadow Keep that had it released. The one with the when they uh, uh with that involved the moon. Yeah. Yeah, that one, that was two expansions ago, it was like two years ago, I think, yeah, I, don't, I think it was like 2020 where we played it a lot, to like 3am, I remember there was a night, me, you, and uh, Sneaky Bug played Sea of Thieves to like 3am, and it was like, it was like midnight or whatever, like we should go to bed. Yeah, we should. And then we fished for another two hours. <laughs> we did nothing but fish. For like another hour at least. And we're like, holy smokes, it's 3 a.m. Yeah. Yeah, Sea of Thieves is a, is a game you can, you just get kind of lost in, it feels like. I haven't played it for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> There's just too many games. But uh, when Sea of Thieves released, people are like, There's not a whole lot to do in this game. And they, they did have a point, but I think now. Uh, after all these updates, I think there's plenty to do in the game, uh, but I, I haven't played it since 2020, so. It's a good game. It is. I was wondering if they'll do a sequel or just keep going with Sea of Thieves as it is. Yeah. I really need to make a schedule for streams. I think that'd be a good idea. work on that tomorrow maybe we'll see I'll probably forget <laughs> all right I'll probably go for like Thirty more minutes and then call the night. Yeah, I don't even know what they do for a sequel. Because if they don't do enough, it'll just feel like a cash grab. But, uh, yeah. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay. Um.
I need to head to the bathroom. So I'm going to run an ad and I'll be right back. So, uh, give me a little bit. I'll try to be back before the ad's over, but uh, we'll see. I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> Hopefully I remembered to meet the mic, I'm pretty sure I did. Uh, 
if I didn't. Uh, definitely not saving the VOD. But I, I, I did. That's fine. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you. You have a wonderful night. I'll see you later. Thank you. I will. I will. Stretch, thank you. Oh my goodness. Okay. So I was I was trying to see if uh who was using the same tags as me. And uh I have the fuzzy tag. And the only other person whose life that's using it is a person that's streaming as a sock puppet. That's amazing. Okay. I need to like bookmark this page. Okay. We're definitely going to raid them then, probably. We'll see. We shall see. in high school I don't know who's here to listen to this story but uh, it's not that amazing but it's just kind of amusing um, when I was in high school I, I took I tried to take an art class every school year I did and uh, I think I was in 11th I think I was a junior I think it was in 11th grade, and uh, my art teacher, uh, we had an assignment, or one of our projects was to do a self-portrait. Um, we just had to draw, there wasn't anything super fancy. And uh, so he'd take us to the back of the classroom, and he had like this little photo thing set up, so he'd take a picture of us, and then th he'd print it out or whatever, and then we'd draw and I made a kind of a grumpy face, and he was okay with it, I guess. But everybody just uh, smiled or whatever. I guess my teacher was amused by it. <laughs> but uh, I was drawing it. I was just sitting there at my desk. And the guy um, had gotten up uh, to sharpen his pencil or get a tissue to blow his nose or something. 
and he had to pass my desk to get to the teacher's desk where the tissues were or whatever he was doing. And he did it, and uh, on his way back, he looked at what I was doing, and I had I made like I made like this super grumpy, goofy face, right? I was drawing it, <laughs> and he 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 looked at it and he said, "I like your face." <laughs> and uh, everybody looked at him, like everyone in the room. It was it was dead silent, and he he just said, "I like your face." And I, I, I didn't know what to say to him, so I just said, uh, thanks. <laughs> and then everybody, and then he realized what he had said. And he, and then he just sat down. And everybody laughed at him. I don't know if they laughed at him, but they, everybody laughed. <laughs> it was funny. It was funny. It was funny. I don't know if I've told that story on stream before, but, uh, I enjoy it. And, like, this whole time, during high school, I thought that guy was, like, in the grade above me, but he was in my grade. I don't know how. He looked, he looked like he should have been a grade above me. But, oh well. That was uh, in the, in junior high and high school. Uh, the art the art teachers had a at least in junior high the art teachers had a display case in the hall where they'd put like the the best stuff that students made. I never got anything put in the display case. Um, I did uh, in my last uh, year of junior high. I made a dream catcher, and my teacher was super impressed with it. It was the highest grade I ever got on a project. He was super impressed that uh, the beads that I put in the dream catcher didn't go all the way around in a circle. But that's just because he didn't have enough of those beads. <laughs> but he, he, he liked how it looked, so... Uh, yeah. And then in high school, the only project... And then in high school, each cla art classroom had their own display case next to the door. Um, and uh, the one thing to make it in there was my self-portrait of my uh, goofy, angry face. I don't know why. It's not even... I, I don't know. I don't want to be mean to myself. But uh, it wasn't that good. But uh, everybody else just did like a smile or a straight face. I was the only one that made a face, but, uh, yeah, <laughs> that made it in there, so, I've only ever had one thing make it in a display case, and that was my face, <laughs> my goofy face, and that's alright. Now I'm going to have dreams about being late to class or whatever <laughs> tonight because I've been talking about school. Even though I've only been late to class twice. I've probably told, talked about this. Um, but the first time the bell rang and my teacher was talking to another, it was English, and my teacher was talking, standing, he stood at the door and held the door for everybody. And he was talking to another teacher, and I think he had his arm out, braced against the door frame. And then I ducked, I had to duck under his arm, but he, he didn't mark me tardy. And then the second time, I don't even remember if I got marked tardy. It was advisory period, which was like, it's like a 30 minute set, set 
uh, class time to just do homework or stuff and stuff for other classes. Um, but uh, my class and uh, we had four periods in a cl in a school day, so we had A days and B days, and we'd swap that every other day. So one day A days you go to four classes, and then uh, B days you to go to your other four classes. That stuff. And uh, advisory was always on a Wednesday. Maybe it was Tuesday, but if it was on if advisory happened on a B day, I had to basically run across the whole school because my first period class was on the other end of the school and uh, my advisory room was on the other end of the school so I had to basically sprint without or run without running because you can't run in the halls yeah I think I've told that story before drink some water real quick. Alright. So we do some trigger words. I don't know who's here, but if you wanna if you want a trigger word, just ask. Let's see. of positive words. Um, that one's pretty long. Okay. Well, I know someone likes cookie, so we'll start with cookie. Start the list. It goes A to Z. I guess we'll just start at A. We'll read it for like maybe five minutes and then we'll find someone to read. Maybe we'll read someone that's playing A smart. We'll see. Okay. Absolutely. 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 Absolutely.
find someone to read, and then we'll say goodnight. Let me swap my headphones real quick so I can hear my desktop. Oh, Brownie's live. Should we raid Brownie? Oh, he's starting soon. He's not even... Oh, there he is. But, uh, let's see if we can't find someone streaming ASMR.
going to read someone new. I think their name is Wade. Yeah, we're gonna read Lauren Haley. She's trying trying ASMR for the first time. for being here tonight I appreciate I love you all I'll see you later I'll see you tomorrow for Mass Effect thank you thank you uh, be be nice and uh, have a good night sweet dreams brush your teeth floss use math floss I'll see you guys another time tomorrow <laughs> and uh, yeah thank you guys Love you all. Bye bye. Be nice. I'm gonna go get ready for bed. Mwah.